Because what do we what do we have? So we have Himmels, and then you said like Cliff, right? Yep. So, oof. <laughs> Jack ZK is bringing the exact same lineup now. They could try to do something slightly different, but uh, Catam has their last pick here. This last tank will be very telling, and it's it's just double two seven seven double I seven one fifty B in a VZ. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see how Jack is AFK does. Uh, if I think that it might be a four one four zero. I don't know if Cat Jam can take a game on them off a of cliff, but I think because when they played, they they play slow defenses on cliff, and we saw what happens to teams that aren't really ready for that. Because they play a slow defense, but they at the same time it's not really slow because they're taking map control, right? Mm -hmm. Um, though I think in the past like they're not the only ones that have done this. Like there have been other teams, but um, I don't know if people are going to follow suit or if they're not, they didn't want to do it this time around. I I think a four one's a safe bet. I, I the biggest thing is I want to see is Felix's addition to, uh, catch him. Is it going to be? kind of a new look for them or not uh we'll find out here in a moment because felix is playing you can see here the starting lineups vary the new eu player for jack is in his second appearance for them and no captain jack he's gone afk again wall hacks is back in in his is4 as he plays on this map a lot of times cat jam you can see felix is in there i don't know who exactly got subbed out for it because there's a couple changes on that roster throughout the season as we've seen people play uh but yeah it looks like the initials are the e100 is not going across they probably are just going to leave the e3 over there the vz is also sitting there which is uh interesting i'm not really sure the exact purpose for that and look at this it's all coming towards the three line right at the beginning with one two seven seven maybe going to the six line window so whatever it is that Cat Jam has planned, they are going for it immediately. And Anthony's in that window. He's going to spot him, and he doesn't connect the first shot onto Waifu. So it looks like they might be. Ooh, this is actually really interesting. This they're is definitely like, so they they're know going to try to yeah. pick. Oh, okay. And they're just sending two tanks for wall hacks, and they took a different route so they get there quicker. And they didn't overdo it. They're just sending enough to, mm -hmm. to be able to finish him easily, and everything else is set up. They're taking, a, they're taking a gamble, and they kind of ran a counter. We'll see if it works out in their favor. Or maybe it's not even a counter. Maybe they, they this is what they've decided to do on Himmels. Well, this is definitely a counter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be I the nice guy for once. Don't go like that without definitely yeah, knowing exactly true. what they expect. Now, Honey Badger um, is going to be caught out here in a Correct. counter isolation. Uh, the 50B has to rotate over, but I don't think he's going to make it in time to make it super effective unless he can pick very here before ox reloads if he could then that no ox is going to be loaded here like in it. like about four seconds and he will have him in right about oh he got safe and he he is an ox actually got shot too and tracked did honey get because uh, ox took a shot oh he did he did he's gonna finish him and here. he will finish him oh, oh no what was that? He really should have taken his time there. That can decide the match. HP Bad can lag. is still down. And oh. Barry goes down to add Astra in the 50B flexing. Honey being alive Barry. there is really good. He just needs and to keep on going, going right? right? Correct. But now Wallhex goes down to Desu. Uh, the cap pressure is continuing. Felix is trying to stay as safe as he can. Like It's not really continuing. He just needs to not die. And they need to get as safe to the E3 as possible. Now they can start doing a turret break, but those guns on the one line have to be alive while the 50B and VZ start flexing around. And look, look at the... Look yeah, at the honey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually really impressive by Cat Jam. Somehow they still ended up losing it, though. Yeah. They they weren't able to pick wall hacks. Not mm -hmm. that that necessarily mattered, because as long as they're keeping the other guns in a bad position. But thing is, a lot of that HP is now left onto immobile guns ooh, and missing that on floppy or no they finally do connect it but now they're in a position where here comes ox back with his clip they're dumping clip into coma which isn't going to amount to much and yeah a good effort by cat jam but maybe just still applying the one line cat pressure i think may have been the mistake once they had the kind of picks in the position they, they bled way too much hp on that cap it wasn't even for, so for me out. it was like why a 50b if you're going to if you're going to hard counter Two VZs is definitely the play. 
Yeah, I I think I agree. Because uh, you know, that 2K plus like uh, you know, a 277 with it or even an i7 cuz they could have had instead of what did they cuz what did they have go pick Wally? Was it i7? i7 and a 277. Right. They could have had an i7 or they could have had a 277 of VZ. Would have been perfect. Instead. And they had an IS7 and a 277 on the cap, and I think it was okay to apply the pressure to force Jack is AFK to move, but once they got there, especially once the E3 is there, like, you're not capping out. He's going to HE it down. Like, so just just don't. Just they should have been peeling into that inner road, and they needed to to make something else happen and, and get damage out and not just bleed for free, because you can see Felix was the I7 on the cap. He only got a one shot of damage. Uh, and just the, the VZ Hasu, though, did get out quite a bit. He got 2,400 just not bad at all uh i i knew it i was gonna say it earlier but i didn't uh but i was gonna say that the e3 um probably won them the game and he looks like he did because it was mm -hmm. one of those things that's why i said that like why 50b because especially the where it played it wasn't significant right like it was almost like one of those things where you you see because they didn't play the, I don't they did they even put the IS seven where they normally put it uh, in the cubby. No. I don't know if no, they even not. went there. So they Jack, also needed to have Jack definitely. Uh, they didn't, committed two tanks across the three line mm -hmm. to get on that cap, the VZ and mm -hmm. Felix. And in reality, all they had to do was commit one tank there. And if they did, if they only committed one tank to that position, and had another one, the VZ or something, just kind of in mm -hmm. a flex spot like on you know able to defend courtyard or something imagine how thing. differently that whole to be game honest with you out. honey badger played that so good i'm wondering if he's not the caller anymore because we haven't really seen honey badger like i haven't really seen him play that good before you know what i'm saying wow. um but he did really uh -huh. well well i personally haven't you seen that the matches. Badger? You yeah, that, a compliment for, by me. Uh huh. But I'm just saying if well, it was like a, it was like a two way compliment. It was a <laughs> wow. Let him think of it as a compliment. I, I haven't seen you ever play this well. I mean, you still lost, of course, but like you know. No, no, no. I no just, I'm uh, saying <laughs> if another tank was with him, he could have won that. And then, like Felix is showing yeah. his rust, like one shot of damage. Well, he was mage. on the cap. Is the, I I don't want to like necessarily just he, like he a M sixties for him to do bottom damage. Ugh, wow. We live in. <laughs> But yeah, if that VZ hadn't crossed, and uh -huh. also if, if Ad Astra had flexed to the courtyard fest, because the fact that Honey Badger was where he was, he didn't have cover for a very long period of time. And if they just had him covered earlier, that whole fight would have gone much differently. You, Ox wouldn't have been able to do what they did. Like, they just wouldn't have been able to do what they did. And Correct. I think then you would have seen something similar to what we saw work against Jack as AFK, which was being able to flex and rotate around the map and start pressuring other sides. Because once that E3 and E100 have to start moving around, Things get a lot more complicated and difficult for that defense, but well done by Jack is AFK. They 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 played it how they their defense is supposed to work. Hey, uh, sorry to jump in. Uh, I just posted something from Tragic in our chat, uh, just uh, in case. I'm not certain if the drops are working. If you guys updated your passwords. Oh, oh. on it Twitch. It appears the drops were working on mine, but yeah, they need to be. Yeah, okay. So I, I think they're to... working on mine. You didn't change your. Oh my god, you're about to get hackied. Do you have a two that? Uh, well, I just did it just mm -hmm. to say. I have but... multiple. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to change mine after this stream, but I have multiple authentication. So I just have to too. link. Uh, I have to unlink it and link it again. That's fine. Yeah, I, I think can do so. that right now. No big deal. Do it right now. Authorize. But I think we're getting ready for the second round here. It, of Matt picked it is here now re-linked back up, so I should have drops. Is that how it works? Or will it... Do I have to... Well, go... let me see. If I go to your channel, I'll see if drops are enabled. Well, I could go to... Yeah, I could go. And... And I don't know. Do I have to, like, re... You may have to restart the stream. I don't know. Do I have know. to restart the stream? I have no idea how this works. I do not know. I don't want to say, like, yes or no. That was a bad man. Yeah, I, I remember this happened before last season with drops when uh, resetting passwords and stuff like that. Then, like, one day the drops stopped working and it was, oh, because you have, you have to just go back into your settings and make sure that you re, like, check a box pretty much. Re me? I have to recheck a box? Uh, like, like, in the drops part, it was, like, making sure that it's, like, re, like, it's, like, it, it's it's weird. Mm. It's, it's not, like, hard, but it's the, I just remember it being annoying. It's back up. I got it. There I you refreshed go. it. Perfect. It says, get rewards by watching Smiley Rage play Perfect. World of Tanks. Yeah, 
Go ahead. Well, we've just been trying to take care of this in the background. <laughs> yeah. So that way it's up for people. True. Uh... <clears throat> well, no, people would be upset in my channel if the drops weren't enabled. They'd be like, smiley, the drops. I mean, they were already mad that I was muted. Because I, I muted myself, but I forgot to unmute within Streamlabs. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll probably, I, you don't and they were like, my Twitch password pretty frequently, too. They're like, Smiley the has... Smiley has vowed a life of silence. I'm like, okay, dude. That's not a thing. Jerm, would uh, you wish that? You have a vow of silence? Yeah, like a... Uh, uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, it's good to yeah. tell the truth sometimes. I gotta let it out sometimes. <laughs> dude, that, that's what makes good casters, is that both mm -hmm. of us like to talk a lot, so it's really easy. <laughs> we never run out of things to say. And when exactly. we do, you know something is just... It's kind of one of those, like... Uh, you know, it's a, it's a really bad 4-0. That's what, that's what it is. <laughs> that's the really bad 4-0s are the best times for stories, though. They are. They're really like good we, story time. We're getting into the next round of tank picking. So Jack is AFK. Uh, playing wall hacks, not Captain Jack. And Vary is playing as well. Uh, maybe just showing a little bit of the cycle and kind of depth where maybe depending on the day, some of the players can't play like wall hacks. Maybe couldn't play on Monday or Jack couldn't play today or... Uh, other stuff or maybe it's just map we don't know the behind the uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, we, don't we don't know, don't the, know behind like, the scene politics this is speculation yeah True. complete speculation mm -hmm. but having the ability to have a team with depth to be able to do some of those i mean to be honest with really you, important to be honest with you jack is afk is one of those teams that definitely um has that skill you know what i mean they they could play all seven what what do they have seven or eight roster uh yeah i think they have eight mm -hmm. i, I think, think verbology is also another team that could do that and look I at that jack flares capable in the, of it too uh, if i remember right. on attack i think they've brought this lineup on attack most times they haven't always brought the e100 but they have sometimes uh but interesting to see no like uh the only like russian heavy is an is4 that 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 is uh not standard i would say as we like teams like to bring their two seven sevens on this map or is sevens uh but honestly i don't think it's necessarily required especially the is seven on attack it has the hp but the dpm isn't great and uh well this is, it a, is fast but this is that's a really light d if you think about it especially the against a team especially well no especially against a, a team that we kind of know what they're gonna do right I feel mm -hmm. like I feel like we know what Jack is AFK is gonna do. I feel like we know they're gonna go up. We know they're gonna clear it with the E three so that the boys can cross for free. I hope that they wouldn't play that um it's kind of weird. I, I wonder this, if this batch head I don't understand. I don't understand against the lineup that they're facing. Because what information is he going to acquire? Like do do you this is where I would be asking, like, in a, in a counter stretch, I'd be saying, what is the point of the five line eyes against a team that's bringing an E100 and an E3 and an IS4? Are we really scared of one line play? And if we are, the Bat Chat's going to have to disengage before they leave anyway. So before they would cross K5 anyway. So if they're not coming immediately, like, like so the Bat Chat's out now, right? So what mm -hmm. if they just simply cross now? Is what I mean. Like the batch had no longer gives eyes, and now it's like, well, what is the purpose of the batch? I guess to give them B zero eyes, but it's it feels like it's a very light vehicle to bring for this purpose when you have a tank picking option like that. That would be one of the tanks that I think I would be leaving as my last pick because if I see these types of super heavies on a, I, I I'm less worried about those southern eyes. And now they have their eyes seven actually pressured up really far at J three. Anyways, going back into Jack is AFK strategy, I'm wondering if they're doing this for the long term because it's only the first round Robin and they're like, well, we don't want to give up the really spicy strats. I mean, they're already basically safe from what I can imagine because I think there's only two matches left for the first round Robin. First two match days after the first, uh, you know, till this is over and they're safe. So it's one of those things where I feel like people are, it's actually a really good way to get people to underestimate, you know what I mean, them in the long run. We spotted the E3 with the batch up, but the E100 still, Honey Badger still took a big hit of damage there. And then that becomes, so you guys know what they're going to do because we've seen this before. 
You've seen Coma in the same very spot. It's been streamed, what, twice that they've played like this? Uh, at least, maybe even three times. And you bring up a good point about the, the relegation and the overall standings. I was traditionally a caller that had this opinion too, and I kind of liked having it because some people would speculate, oh, they only have this strat and that's all they're going to run and that's all they ever will run. And I was like, yeah, but I mean, I'm facing, you know, two medium to bottom tier teams in the last two weeks and I can't, like, my position in the league can't change, so I'm just going to run the same old stuff even though I've, in scrimmages and practices, maybe working on something completely different, right? Mm -hmm. it, and that that's maybe, maybe you're right too about Jack is AK. That may be what they're doing. And it's just to try to, you know, they feel confident that their strat is consistent enough that they can win and they will win the rounds. And as long as there isn't an issue later on in the season where, gosh, they really wish they had a different seed in the playoffs or something. But mm -hmm. other than that, yeah, I mean, because you don't want to be throwing, you know, it, like you said, three quarters away from the first round robin, you don't want to be saying, okay, we're just going to go to completely new strats that, you know, then leaves you come playoff time when you really need those new good strats to, to, to pull out. You, you don't have them as an option. And look, they've, they've started cap pressure. They, they seem to have all the positions and sight lines that they want. I feel like it's also a, si a psychological a thing um, for these teams, too, because it's like they're not doing the same strat that they've done before. There's no way. And they do. And then they're like, oh, crap. Because maybe some of these teams didn't even think of doing a counter because they're like, why would we counter something that they're never going to do again? And the, the resets on this A7 position can only come from tanks at A6 or in the window getting an HE splash. And there aren't really the vehicles for Cat Jam. So they know that it has to come from 8-line, essentially, or a 5-line or 7-line like crossing to A6. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see Ox and Coma set up there ready for this exact thing as Felix pokes and takes the first hit from Ox and does actually extend one shot back into him. And now here they come across. They have to poke this in unison. They can't go one at a time. And Hasu pokes out first, gets a shot. But they do get the resets, and Punish is going. Now Cat Jam is stuck in a massive crossfire, mm -hmm. and they've opted to drive in front of the crossfire. Yes, uh, driving in front of crossfire, I heard, is very good for your HP. Um, it's actually, uh, Doctor recommends it uh, about three times a week, usually Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Oh, with Anthony down, and now Wallhack's on fire, and Wallhack's down. All those tanks are out, and when they counter push, they can only pick Felix here, and Felix needs to do the best he can to make himself a barrier to stop these VZs from tucking in on the road. That's And that's exactly what he's doing. A very good experience play. He's trying to do as best he can. He's not going to be able to do it perfectly, but trying to last as long as possible, and now both of those VZs, one Ox is on reload and very only has one shot left. Desu should be poking out if he's loaded and trying to get damage in. And he will shoot at Vary, but doesn't connect. Oh, another miss, and Vary with his last shot in his clip actually fires and connects. So Demonic Desu not coming out ahead on that. And actually Floppy's coming down towards him because they probably called how many shots the Batch had shot, and they know the CS can run him down. He just needs to run, go five line, and just get near his team. He doesn't need to run I don't know if he'll away. get away from Floppy. I mean, Demonic and, uh, I mean, Demonic versus Floppy Tacos, I mean, this is a match made in heaven for me personally because I know both of them. <laughs> on a personal level so whoever wins i get to laugh at and we and well actually the winner will laugh at him together we'll laugh at him together yeah and catch him down hp but up guns and the guns on jack is afk i mean 2000 at hp is on an e3 that can't really move around too much and there's ox flexing as well and he gets a shot into XVM at Astra, and Astra gets his shot in two, and Ox manages to pick up Demonic Desu, but Ox is stuck. Floppy goes down to a one shot, and like... now Hatsu's gonna cross here. He takes one shot of damage. He's gonna try to pick up. Floppy oh, but is Floppy stays and gets the yep. connection. No one was able to cover him, and that's a big gamble and a mistake. I mean, by it's Cat really Jam. over. I mean, all they have to do is wait for Koma to come in, and then once Koma comes in, takes all these shots, probably Verui's gonna move up and get a clip out, and then just GG's. But yeah, yeah. so Cat Jam looking to get the daily dose of crossfires in. It looks like they got their Wednesday Ooh. in. Not a good shot by Koma, <laughs> but it probably won't matter. Jack Safe is up such a significant amount now and has such a massive. Hopefully they don't do that again. You know, hopefully they got... break. But uh, a good effort by Cat Jam, but a couple of little mistakes here and there, like like just ended up kind of costing them. The couple of little uh, mistakes was the fact that they didn't hard counter Jack is AFK on Himmels. That's a couple of little mistakes. Like, I feel like to be yeah. honest with you, 
percent if we're talking statistics it is literally more statistically probable for them to play this defense and attack than it is for angry apes to lose a battle <laughs> okay so wow. i would just i would just i would just go with the flow and just do it you know i would uh, just run hard counters because here's the thing you can run a hard counter and if midway through you realize they're doing something different you can change it up or just take the brawl and hope that you can out just by playing that aggressively you can you know but even on yeah. defense i mean oh, this game stats they, too, just before we go into that go more, ahead. ox 4k damage two kills floppy mm -hmm. consistent as well 4k damage three kills in a cs on himmelstorm very putting up good numbers 3500 damage no kills but 3500 damage call him missing that one shot but uh He's been playing the E3 very This is the second day I've missed with Fantasy, but that's because I couldn't start my stream because of the password change. Oh. So that's what, no. yeah, that's a problem that I had. So 